Good evening, folks. I was I was hanging around then thinking, what time is it? Oh, I've got ages yet. And it's one minute past ten, so I'm a minute late, but good evening. Kim is in the house straight away. Uh, it's going to move this around a little bit. Good to see you, Kim. Um, this is night 23, folks. Um, Jay Torres MMA um, is in the house as well. Jay, good evening to you. Don't know where you are. If you're new to these scopes, by the way, Deflinks is here, Neural01. Uh, Girly Willy 72 is in the house again, uh, the usual crew. If you are new to these scopes, there's a few new names here. Rooty Toot Toots is back. Um, type new, let me, uh, and then put where you are as well. I want to see where you are in the world. We've had some people from all over the place uh, the last few nights. We've had Russia, Ukraine. Uh, Neural, where, hello, where are you from? Meredith, back from Texas. Evening, says Kim. Um, good to see you. How, uh, how are we all doing? Um, I'm going to give people a few minutes to join. Hey man, I'm in Earl of Manchester. You're around the corner. Earlham's not around the corner, right, right around the corner from me. I'm just in, in Urmston in Manchester. Hey Ross from Oxford, UK. Um, who was that? Who was from Oxford? I missed, I missed your name there. Oh, Rooty Toot Toots. All, all well here, I think. Or oh, do you mean it's raining? Um, I'm from Kazakhstan. Are you really from Kazakhstan? That's incredible if you are. Um, that's a, a long way away. Um, for those who are watching this on the um, replay as well, massive props to you. Um, you won't be able to comment on this, obviously, but you can still heart it up whenever you like. If you like what I'm saying tonight, we're going to be talking about something called living in the gap. Um, it's raining, so not well. Oh, it's raining, Ruth. It's raining here, to be honest. Sunny, sunny Stoke, Deathlinks. It is, I'm sure, very sunny in Stoke. I know it very, very well. Um, props, are you 15? Uh, no, I'm 33, so I, I wish I was 15. Well, I don't wish I was 15. I was, uh, I was definitely uh, just not, not what I wanted to be when I was 15. Hello from Sweden. Wow, Sweden's here. Um, so we've got quite a lot of people, quite a lot of new people as well. For those who don't know me, my name is Ross. Um, I am a voiceover artist and I'm an actor from Manchester here in the UK. Also fascinated by mindset, positivity, motivation, kind of what makes people successful, what makes people great. Um, you know, the difference between people who have a little bit of success and people who have massive, massive success. Um, Hitesh has just joined. Good to, uh, good to see you, Hitesh. Uh, Ross, Ross Fish Fingers, good one, good one. Used to get that at school quite a lot. Uh, that's uh, that's a good one. Um, so last night we spoke about confidence, guys, and the constructs of confidence. Um, Hitesh, my man, he's here. Uh, good to see you. Um, you can't see him. Says something, someone else. He's got Frank Sidebotham's head on. Um, yeah, we talked about confidence last night, which was um, the constructs of confidence, the three C's of confidence, which was courage, commitment, and capability. Um, if you want to watch that scope, you want to watch the replay, you can go to actsonlist.tv, click on Periscope in the menu, and you can um, and you can watch all of the previous Periscopes. I've been doing these for 23 nights now, every night, 10 o'clock here in the UK. Uh, I committed to doing it for 30 nights. Uh, so we've got seven, we've got a week left. Uh, we've got seven nights after tonight. And then I'm still going to carry on. I don't know if it'll be every single night, but I'm still definitely going to carry on. Because uh, I think we've created a pretty awesome community here. And we're seeing the same people coming on. I hope we're all learning. Um, if you've enjoyed them so far, hard it up. And then um, and we'll get going with, uh, with what we want to talk about tonight. Um, Lucy's back. Lucy, good to see you. Um, Lucy, where were you from? Lucy, you were in America, weren't you? Were you? You were definitely America because it was 2 p.m. for you when you were coming on. I can't remember whereabouts. Lucy, remind me of, uh, of where you are. Um, so, the slides. I know it's been 23, 23 nights already, Kim. The slides are back. Los Angeles, LA for Lucy. That's it, exactly. Um, what is the first thing you think when you hear Sweden? Um, Sweden? Uh, blonde haired women? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, Jay from Manchester. Jay, great to see you. Good evening. Um, so tonight, guys, we're looking at yeah, living in the gap. These scopes, by the way, you will see this this uh, logo, bulletproof actor. Okay, I run a few uh, communities for actors. A lot of what I talk about is not just applicable to actors. So if you, oh IKEA says it's test, good one. Um, yeah, it's not just applicable for actors. So if you aren't an actor, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get anything from these. You can apply all of this knowledge into every single career every single kind of part of your life it's not just all about uh, the acting community although a lot of actors will be on here it will be relevant for you as well so what is living in the gap well I was talking about this Deflinks was talking about this to you today 
Um, and there's a little, this is kind of like a little introduction to what a lot of people do in their lives. And they effectively, by doing this and living in the gap, um, it's not the gap clothes shop, if you remember that from the 90s. It's, um, it's, it's living in the gap um, between kind of where you are and where you want to be. And it puts off people's happiness, it puts off people's fulfillment. Uh, people end up feeling frustrated as hell when they are living in the gap. I'm doing GCC drama in year 10. Awesome, Jay. Well, this is going to put you in good stead. If I'd have known all this sort of stuff when I was doing GCC drama, I think my life would have been a bit easier. So, got a few slides here that I'll read to people. Um, hopefully Periscope will enable us to actually kind of show these things better one day. We'll see. Um, chasing the horizon, guys. Okay, so have you ever stared off into the distance, maybe at the beach where the sea meets the sky on a wide open plain where the land stretches to meet the horizon in the distance? Did you ever stop to think that, though we've internalised the idea that the horizon itself exists, in reality, if you started walking towards it, you'd never reach it? Okay, the horizon um, is real but only in our minds. It's a mental construct that can never be physically reached. So if you imagine you're staring out and you're staring out on a wide open plane, horizon spans out in front of you and you start walking forwards to the horizon. You might be able to reach those buildings that you see on the horizon like these, but when you get there, there's going to be another horizon ahead of you. So you can you can reach actually what's on the horizon, but you can never reach the horizon because it's always going to be um, you know, further and further ahead of you. If you've ever, anyone's ever been at Las Vegas, buildings in Vegas are absolutely massive. And they look like they're like two minutes walk away because they're so huge. Wherever you are on the Las Vegas Strip, you think it's, it doesn't look very far to that next hotel or that next casino. You might walk for like 20 minutes um, to get there because it, it's, it's so vast. And then when you get there, obviously there's just more and more and more and more and you can never ever reach the horizon. Now this is what people do with their goals, their aspirations, and their ideals uh, about themselves and their ideals about other people in terms of perfection. So our ideals are our internal horizon. What we want to be and what we want to strive to be is really the horizon in our own minds. So our ideal, our internal horizon. So just like the mental construct of the horizon, we also create ideals that we use to think about and create our futures. These ideals serve as a mental reference point that we use to establish goals, to motivate ourselves and to get through periods of difficulty in our lives. They exist only in the mind and just like the horizon are impossible to reach. It's great to have ideals and we've done loads on goal setting. This isn't about not setting goals, but it's great to have ideals. In fact, you know, they're necessary, but they can also also do some very real damage to your psyches and as a result our confidence and I've got a little diagram here I'm going to show you how they do that young Towser is in the house good to see you young Towser quite a lot of new people are on the scope tonight so yeah so in our minds we have these ideals of what we want to be where we want to go and that might be you know our ideal self our perfect self we've got the perfect body the perfect job the perfect relationship the perfect income perfect health perfect kind of everything it's what we kind of aspire to be but people end up kind of chasing that all the time and then what they might do is they might get their perfect body and then they're like oh but you know what I've like my income's not as good because I've, I've been taking my off the ball at work because I've had to achieve you know this, this perfect body I've been spending a lot of time in the gym or whatever then they'll get the perfect income again and they'll go oh well you know I've been working a lot at work but now my relationship's bad and I've got the perfect relationship and all they're really doing is just getting more and more frustrated because every time they reach that next next kind of horizon I guess or those buildings on the horizon they're just looking forward to the next one so I've got a low battery there let me just plug this in we've had one of those problems on a scope before see that Kim didn't plug it in you normally always remind me about that I've just plugged it in should be good um, so this is what they do okay this is a little diagram so living in the gap looks like this we've got this red circle up here which is the ideal you okay we've got this gray circle down here which is you right now okay and up here we've got like perfect job perfect body perfect income perfect relationship perfect everything what people end up doing they just end up living here permanently because to get to here where everything's perfect is literally impossible it cannot be done okay so people end up just living in this gap chasing the horizon which is just a completely 
um, you know, man-made constructs in our minds. It doesn't exist. And then all they do is just end up really, really frustrated because they're not actually appreciating um, what they are right now. So how do we stop this? How do we stop ourselves from just getting completely, utterly frustrated? It's dead easy. Okay, so it's not that it's not that we're not going to ever find ourselves in the gap. We're always going to find ourselves in the gap. Okay, I don't care who you are, and no matter what part of the evolution, you know, if self development or personal growth or whatever it is that you you are at, wherever you're at in that, um, you uh, you're always going to find yourself there from time to time. But the real key is how quickly you can bounce out of that. So first of all, before I tell you how you can bounce out of that. Let me look a, bit, a little bit more of that. Hard it up. Give me some yeses if you kind of get this and if you think you, right now you might be living in the gap. You know, are you uh, just chasing that horizon and never really feeling that you're reaching it? You know, and then when you do reach something, you, there's always something else. And if I just get this or if I just had that, I'd be happy. Or if I just had this house, I'd be happy. If I just had this car, I'd be happy. If I just had this relationship, I'd be happy. Um, if you get that, yeah, hard it up. Give me some yeses. It'd be interesting to see who feels like that right now. I definitely, at times, um, recently, feel, you know, feel like this is something that we're always going to um, find ourselves you know in at some point so Kim says I so I acknowledge you for saying that no definitely not me <laughs> definitely not Rachel girly whirly yes um, you know it's um, it's something that we we all fall into um, you know from from one time to another um, but it's how quickly like I say don't expect because that's perfection kind of expecting never to feel like this that's impossible but it's how quickly you can bounce out of that the easiest way to bounce out of the gap simply is to turn around okay I'll show you what I mean we've touched on this in other scopes as well this is just kind of reinforcing it so bouncing out of the gap here we've got you right now okay and then we've got you in the past down here so all we've done is we just turned around the arrow is now looking back on ourselves and all here We've got your achievements. So everything that you have done. Parissa, good to see you. Um, so it says, take some time out to celebrate what you've already achieved and stop chasing perfection, which is impossible. You know, you really, uh, you really need to appreciate Please put by camera. I'm going to put these slides up, Lucy, as well, on actonthis.tv so you can actually download all these as a PDF document, and that will be up in the morning. So I know it's earlier for you because you're in the States, but tomorrow morning, UK time, about 10 a.m. UK time, these slides will be um, available for you to download as a PDF. So you literally just have to turn around and then just start looking at the achievements. I had the kind of like inspiration to do this tonight and talk about this because last night we did the exercise, what's cool about you, and people put three things, um, you know, that would enhance their confidence by saying actually what's cool about them, you know, right now. And they don't have to be those million dollar moments. They can be um, some really, you know, quite simple things. Um, you know, there was a lot of parents on here going, you know what, I, I, I'm a parent, I always put my children first. Um, yeah, that's really cool, something that's really cool about you. People often, don't focus on actually what is good about them. They just have this negativity bias where we run off and we focus on all the things that we're not. Um, and this ideal you as well, by the way, that I talked about here, this doesn't have to be the ideal you. This can also be the ideal somebody else. So this can be other people within your sector, depending on you know if you're an actor, other people within the acting industry. Uh, you know, people aspire to be just like you know celebrities they see on social media, regardless of what industry you're in. You know, it seems that we just seem to put these people on a pedestal because they take a hundred pictures of themselves on Instagram every day, and everyone goes, "Oh my God, look at their life! It's just so perfect because it's been photoshopped to hell." That's why. So that doesn't have to just be you and your perfect ideals. That can be the ideals of other people as well. So the key is to allow the ideal to play its proper role. Now it's ideal, the, the, the role of the ideal is not to frustrate you and to go, oh my God, I'm never gonna be, I'm never gonna be, you know, I'm useless, I'm not that, you know, I'm not gonna get that, I'm not gonna have that, or if I have got it, I always want more. So the experience of measuring yourself against your ideals uh, is one of failure disappointment and low self-esteem no matter how high your achievements no matter how high your achievements you're always going to feel like this if, the, if you are living in the gap so instead allow the ideal 
to play its proper role as a source of inspiration and direction when you're setting your goals. I've talked loads on goals over the last three weeks. So measure your progress by looking back at the goals you already accomplished and be sure to celebrate these successes. After all, you'll always be further than you were before and that qualifies as an accomplishment. It's like social media photos. Only got good things. Say that again, Kim. I've just missed it. I'm just going to hold this up if people want to screenshot it. Um, Say that again, Kim. I missed it. It was a long comment as well. You have to type it out again. It was something about social media uh, profiles, though. But social media is something I feel massively strongly on because I think it's something that really um, screws people up massively. I wrote an article on Acts on This. If you just um, go on Acts on This TV and then you search for uh, backstage it's the article's called something like comparing your backstage to other people's front stages and it talks about how people on social media only publish the most amazing things in their life um, sorry I'm late my phone didn't beep at 10 Nina where have you been we've gone through all the slides um, I'll recap in a sec for you Nina but you can watch the replay obviously um, but yeah social media what a lot of people do it, what, we, what we all do right I do this like social media posts as we get to see the good in people's lives yes that's what I'm talking about Kim so people only want to post publicly um, what they want people to think you know what's, what's going to reflect positively on them what people are going to think oh you know they've got a great life or that's great you know it gives us a little bit of significance when people favor our tweets or like our Facebook posts and stuff and you know people want to just post the good parts of their life um, I saw your broadcast yesterday uh, so that would have been the confidence one Lucy um, but yeah you know and then what we do is we compare what's going on in our backstage to what's going on in their front stage um, and then we feel terrible about ourselves because we go oh well their life must be perfect because that's all we see on their social media profiles where in our backstage stuff isn't as great you know and um, if we posted if we only posted our front stages other people around us would just feel the same as well um, they would think that our life is just as perfect but we know it isn't um, so never compare what's going on in your backstage to what you see going on with other people's front stages because it's completely biased um, again you're just looking at them as perfection as ideal you're chasing that horizon and you're never ever gonna get there you're just gonna be frustrated so instead turn around look back on what you've already achieved use those ideals and that perfection to draw inspiration from but never really kind of like you know hold yourself to those ideals like you know if I'm never this then I'm never gonna be perfect I'm never gonna be happy because it's just utterly futile so Nina for you quickly because you were dead late on here we were talking about living in the gap you're gonna be able to download these as a PDF everybody so it's fine you go out on this TV tomorrow click on periscope uh, and check on that and we're talking about chasing the horizon Nina which is really the horizon is just a human made construct it only exists really in our minds it's not a real thing um, if you've ever sat on like a beach and you've looked out to sea uh, or you've been on a plane um, you know and you're looking out to the horizon um, you you can never reach it you can chase it but you can never get there as soon as you get there there's going to be another horizon further in the distance and that's what people do with their lives and their dreams and aspirations as soon as they achieve something they're looking for more they're just living in the gap chasing the horizon so we had this first diagram which was you now where you want to be all these perfect ideal things about yourself um, and then really what ends up, people just end up living in this gap here, chasing between what they are and what they want to be, never being fulfilled. So one way to kind of combat that is to turn around, look back on what you've already achieved, and then use the uh, ideal, let it play its proper role, so that you can actually just draw inspiration from it, as opposed to just, you know, really holding yourself accountable. Um, that if you don't meet those expectations or, or you're not perfect, that you failed. I've started doing that a lot lately in a good way, reminding myself how, how far I've come. Honestly, you'll turn around and, and, and you look back on the things that you've done and you'll be like, oh my God, I've, like, I've run a thousand miles. Whereas I thought in my mind I'd only kind of like ran one mile. Um, but it's not until you actually look back on your life properly and people, you know, I, I recommend people journaling about this, keeping a gratitude journal, writing down the things that you, you know, you've accomplished for the day, three wins for the day, three anticipated wins for tomorrow. Um, and it's not when you start, until you start recording it all, that you can go back through it and go, wow, I've actually done so much. Um, honestly, create in your notes on your phone just a little gratitude journal where you just write down the things you're grateful for for the day. Three things and then three things you've accomplished. Then at times when you're feeling bad, if you do this and create a habit and you do it literally every single night, you can look back at these things 
and you know you might scroll back two three months and all you see is just great thing after great thing after great thing all these things that you've done and it feels amazing a lot of people have a gratitude jar which is this is quite a cool concept so you get a jar put a little hole in the top of it every day just write down one thing or two things or whatever on a scrap of paper that's been great that you're grateful for pop it in the jar and then you can either open that jar just once a month or just once a year and then you just sit back pour it all out on the floor and then just go through looking at all the things for that year that you were grateful for or you know the great things that happened the things that you achieved the things that you accomplished and then you never lose sight of what you've already done you know and then when you're looking for that horizon you can you know you can take that inspiration from it as opposed to going well you know until I get there I'm never going to be happy because you ain't ever going to get there that's what you need to think you ain't ever ever going to get there um, so that's 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 the lesson for tonight guys I hope you get it um, and you know and this week you can uh, you know you can use that in your life Joseph's here but Joseph we're just finishing up man you can watch the replay though thanks for uh, for, for joining us anyway um, if anyone's got any questions put them in if you if you get it and you enjoy it hard it up give me some yeses let me know that you uh, that you you understand that definitely a great thing to do it really is honestly sometimes the older you get you tend to forget about all your past achievements but you are right you definitely do Nina because life seems to be faster as well the older that we get the, the more your brain fills up the faster um, time seems to go when you're a kid if you imagine you like your brain is like a, a memory stick um, I don't need to write positive things about me. You do, Lucy. You definitely do. You definitely do. If your test says yes, thanks, my man. Um, but yeah, when you're a kid, it's like you've always got like a blank memory stick in your brain. So it's constantly being filled up. Um, so time seems to kind of go a little bit slower. Once it gets kind of full throughout, you know, your life, uh, I usually dwell on my negatives. Bang. Well, what, well, you need to absolutely. Um, we did a scope a few nights ago, Lucy, um, talking about kind of flipping. Um, negative thoughts quite quickly and like that would be the similar thing to bounce out of the gap um, you can go back and check that out on actsonest.tv in times of trouble it's easy to look back at the bad rather than the good definitely is because it's easier it makes us feel good it gives us a connection with ourselves to feel like victims it totally does so you might feel hard done by something's gone wrong in your life you've been deceived something might bad have happened and what we do because one of our main human needs is, is connection whether that's connection with other people or connection with ourselves we play that video of us you know being hard done by over and over and over again in our head because it gives us this immense sense of connection with ourselves to go oh poor you you're always the one who comes off the worst you're always being taken advantage of you know it makes us feel kind of you know connected with ourselves and that's a but that's a really low quality way of getting that human need fulfilled there'd be much higher quality way to fulfill that need by actually going out and making real connections that are positive with other people having a positive connection with yourself loving yourself you know reflecting on what you're grateful for reflecting on what you've already achieved and um, that would be a you know far far higher quality way of fulfilling that need of connection as opposed to just dwelling and replaying that movie in your head about all the bad things that have happened to you that's a victim mentality and you will live with that for the rest of your life if you don't snap out of it and you will always be the victim in all situations you'll always feel disempowered um, so you need to flip that and look at what those negative situations have given you they've made you stronger Look at it positive and feel how fortunate you are. I said, yeah, exactly. Basically, we need to take responsibility for actions. Taking responsibility is one of the biggest things as well, Lucy, saying I am here where I am right now because of every decision that I have made previously in my life. And from now on, if I, if I want a better life and a better quality of life, I'm going to raise my standards and I'm going to make better quality decisions. That's like absolutely, you know, absolutely key to it all. But look at what those negative situations have given you because they will have given you far more than you realize and probably far more than they've taken away from you even if you've had a terrible thing you know and you've had a I don't know you know people are in relationships for 30 years they um, you know their husband you know runs off with somebody else takes the, the house off them all this sort of stuff and they're left with nothing you know you will you will be more resourceful than ever in situations like that if you you know to fight through it and then when you look back at what you've actually done and how you've dealt with that and how stronger you've become how much more wise you are what you know about the world um, you know that guy can take everything off you and if you're playing the victim mentality what a lot of what a lot of people do I don't do a lot of relationship counseling really but when I've looked at it what a lot of people do in that situation is the woman for instance will go right well you know I am nothing now I have absolutely nothing this guy has taken everything from me 
and they play this victim as Mrs. Say this guy was Mrs. Smith. The guy was Mr. Smith. That girl took his name when they got married, so she's Mrs. Smith. You know, she stays as this victim as Mrs. Smith, sometimes for decades or the rest of their life. Really, that guy can take everything off you, but he can't take who you were originally before you met that guy. So whatever your name was, it might be, you know, I don't know, Mrs. Simpson before that. And then you go, right, well, how would, you know, let's just look back at, like, Mrs. Simpson's grandma or their ancestors. You know, how is, is this the way that they would act? Is this what they would want for me? You know, this guy can take everything, but really, he can never take my name. He can never take what was truly, you know, truly mine. Um, you know, and, and that will empower people to go, right, you know, I'm going to look at the, what the situation is giving me. It's giving me a new chance, a completely clean slate. When my husband left me, I went to drama school. And now Fresh says, good on you, Nina. Good, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Rewriting your story. And in my mindset course that's coming out later this month, I've almost finished writing it today. Um, we talk about this, you know, rewriting, recrafting your bullshit story that you, you live by now if people are still living this limited story and this victim mentality, looking at everything that their stories have really given them and then recrafting their story to be a, a completely empowering, limitless story for them to, uh, to live in the future. But it's fascinating because everybody has been through, you know, all, you know, a lot of terrible stuff. A lot of people have been, had, you know, some pretty harsh, you know, hands dealt to them. Um, but some of the strongest people I know have had the most difficult lives and it's only when, you know, they've come through that they've been very, very strong and they've been so empowered and, you know, and, and so determined, um, you know, to never be in that place again that they've gone on to do some incredible things. So you need to look at what all these negative situations have given you, um, you know, take all those skills and, and then run with it. Um, but it's amazing. It's that you know, it's amazing. And these scopes are cool because we get people on that you aren't just a lot of the stuff that I do. The mindset course is called Bulletproof Actor, so it's really kind of like particularly for actors. Although a lot of stuff does. Um, to be honest, a lot of it, you know, eighty percent of it applies to absolutely anybody. Um, but it's cool to hear other people's stories as well. Um, you know, that, that aren't in this industry because we all face so much. You know, so much stuff um, that we need to get through. Um, so remember, just don't fall into that gap. Stop chasing the horizon. You'll never get it. You know, just take from it what's going to inspire you. Um, you know, and move forward with that. Always turn around and look at what you've already achieved. Um, you know, acknowledge your achievements. Be grateful for those. You know, give yourself a pat on the back and a round of applause every time you achieve something. Even if it's a little step along the way to your goals. Don't, don't just complete that and then move on. Right, what's next? Stop. Take a few minutes out. Give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, you know, you deserve it. My saying is always about the man walking down the street complaint. He had no shoes until he saw the man with no feet. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's amazing. That, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. You know, there's been times where I've been running. I run marathons and, and stuff for charity. And there's been times where I've been really, really struggling in my training and I've just you know sometimes you're like oh god you know I'm just want to throw this in this is you know it's November it's freezing cold outside it's dark and I'm running and my legs are killing me and then someone in a wheelchair will just roll past and I'll be like wow what they would give to feel this pain in their legs right now um, is incredible so um, so yeah you know you can always find something to be grateful for no matter what um, so if you've enjoyed that heart it up I'm seeing a lot of blue hearts coming through thanks for the hearts um, we will be back tomorrow night 10pm again it will be night 24 um, it would be interesting how many um, be interesting to see how many nights people have, uh, have managed to catch these for uh, how many people have watched, you know, how many they've watched live. Uh, if you want to catch up on any of the replays, go to actsonthis.tv and click on Periscope in the menu. You can watch them all. We've done scopes on probably every single part of Mindset um, up to now over these last 24 nights. And don't forget, Wednesday, Book Club. Wednesday, we're going to be discussing a little bit more um, of Greg McKeown's Essentialism. It's an awesome book which helps you cut out, well, go from all of this basically into this. Cuts out all the nonsense in your life that you're wasting time and energy on and it helps you become an essentialist so you can get a heck of a lot more done just putting your energy into the things that really matter. There's a little diagram that I can show you. I can sum it up very quickly. A lot of people do this. They, they put so much energy into so many things they make a millimetre of progress on each one. What uh, Greg teaches people to do to become an essentialist, put all of their energy into one thing that's a priority, not priorities, 
um, and, uh, and make a big difference. So we're going to be talking about that. We've done a couple of scopes on that so far, but we're going to be talking about this on Wednesday and Friday. If you've not got your copy, go over to Amazon.co.uk. I've got no affiliation with Greg. I made no money out of it at all, but it's just a great book, and we're going to be talking about that on Wednesday um, and Friday. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to find out more about the mindset course I'm bringing out called Bulletproof Actor, and you are an actor and you want to check it out, go to bulletproofactor.com, leave your email address, and I will keep you posted when that's released. It's going to be out in probably about three weeks' time, which is super exciting. If you're an actor and you want to join the community at Act On uh, This, go to actsonthis.tv. Um, I interview a lot of um, industry folk, casting directors, agents, famous actors. There's loads of articles on there, podcasts, videos, loads of stuff um, to check out. Or if you are nothing to do with acting at all and you just want to kind of, you know, get more focus, more motivation, more positivity in your life, join us on this scope. Follow me. Um, can't wait for Bulletproof I can't wait Kim um, follow me on Periscope you'll be notified of every time I do one of these scopes 10pm um, every night for at least the next 7 nights and then after that um, I'll definitely be doing them regularly um, so until tomorrow thank you so much for watching when I'm famous you can interview me Nina I would love nothing more honestly it would be amazing there has been a couple of people in the community actually um, there's one at the moment who is an actress in the acting this community who has just landed a job that everyone will find out about in the new year. She's filming it at the moment, um, which will absolutely warrant an interview, uh, which is crazy, isn't it? It's amazing. So the, the information she gleaned from the site has helped her get a job, but ultimately I will then go, right, I want to interview you for that. That's how it works. Crazy circles. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow night, 10 p.m. As always, you're amazing. Never forget, and I'll speak to you then.